everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing this today because this, my friends, is my first foray into the Beautylish Lucky Bag. Now, I do order from Beautylish sometimes. They have extraordinary customer service and their packaging and their presentation of the products when they send it is outstanding above all else. I don't order from that often because I don't have a rewards program, so you're kind of giving up one for the other. But a Beautylish Lucky Bag that I missed out on last year because I was really just starting out my channel and I saw the advertisement for it, but I didn't purchase it. A Beautylish Lucky Bag is something that they put on sale the 26th of December. So you're essentially pre-ordering it and waiting a month for it. And they celebrate the Chinese New Year. Each new, each year is represented by a different animal. This year is the year of the pig, and you will see a lot of that in some of the new makeup releases. But the Lucky Bags, there are two of them. You can either buy an XL for $150 with a value of over $300, I believe, to $350 or more. Or you can get the little one, which is what I got, which was $75, and I saved up for this thing. I kept putting money aside so that I would have the money for this because I wanted it so very badly. This is guaranteed to have a value of at least $150. You can also get an extra lucky bag where you might get a gift card to Beautylish thrown in. In there as well. As you can see, I have not opened this. I have no clue what is inside, but I am super excited because you have the possibility of getting some very high-end products like Natasha Denona and other things which I would not spend on myself, but would love to have. This is a lot smaller, honestly, than I thought it would be. I thought the box would be bigger for some reason. But we're going to find out together what is in it. I'm hoping I'm not disappointed, but mystery bags are a gamble. And you have to be willing to spend the money to take that gamble. It's just like gambling. You never know if you're going to win. But the presentation of it is this. Very, very beautiful presentation. It has, wow, really thick, luxurious paper and a little card on here. And the card says, Lucky Bags are a Japanese, okay, I retract everything I said. <laughs> it's a Japanese tradition. I guess I should do more research, so my bad on that. It's a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own, yep, the sumo wrestlers or Rikishi. Please forgive me if I mispronounce that. On this year's lucky bags are said to bring good luck and fortune. We hope the surprises inside make your 2019 a little more lucky. Yep, so Japanese, not Chinese. We'll get that straight, Leanne. And I'm not even going to edit that out because I made a boo-boo. We all do in life. It was not taped closed. I guess I'm supposing this is supposed to be taped closed, but it was not. And inside is very, okay, it's just paper on top. And okay, I have my items packed in here. And the rest of it on the bottom, I am presuming, is just paper. So let's open up this bundle and see what my surprise is. It feels like quite a few items. Okay, the first thing I'm pulling out is... From Wayne Goss, the number 10 brush. I do not own any Wayne Goss brushes because they are exceedingly expensive. And, oh, now I know why. This looks like an absolutely gorgeous brush. It could be used for a multitude of things. Highliners, highliners, hmm, highlighters, powders for setting. This, I think, has to be the softest brush that I've ever felt in my entire life. And I'm going to be looking up all of the prices of these products and uh, putting the, the amount hopefully below. Super excited first item. The second item I am pulling out is, and it says, coming soon from Beautylish. This must be a sample of a new product because it does say coming soon. And this is from Good Molecules. It is the Wake Up Eye Serum formulated with caffeine and 
pumpkin extract to brighten firm and depuff. I am never opposed to a good skincare item. I've never tried this before. I can't wait to dig into the ingredients and see. Very pretty packaging. It comes in a dropper form, which I do like. Let's just try it on our hand. It does not have a scent. It's a very thick serum. Now it's very cold outside, so that could just be it. Yeah, no scent. I don't know if it's going to depuff my hand, but I am so excited to try this. I don't know the price of it because I don't know that brand, but that's a fabulous second item. The third item is <laughs> Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. This is a popular item I saw last year. Many, many people got the Orbe Dry Shampoo. It's a very expensive hair care brand, but again, you know, I do not use dry shampoos. But actually, look at the packaging. It's quite beautiful. Gold Lust. I'm wondering if it has gold in it. It's going to make your hair gold. It's a distinct possibility. I may keep this and try just because of the fact that it says that. I'm not angry at that whatsoever. The next thing I'm pulling out, and look how they package everything. They make sure, unlike Sephora, Sephora if you're listening, pay close attention to what Beautylish does. I don't know what this is because I cannot see through the packaging. This is a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prismatic Amethyst. I'm going to open it up and look at it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. The packaging is gorgeous. It's got this uh, light lilac purple. It's the same flying saucer type, but has purple instead of black or gold. It's, I'm going to keep the plastic on. It's very, very pretty. It's got this design. I think this was like a limited edition item from Becca. I'm, again, this is, I think, at least a $30 product, so I'm not mad at that. I may or may not keep it. I'm just not sure yet. The next thing in here is a mascara from Benefit, and it's the Their Real Mascara. And actually, I do, this is open though, it's a little concerning. I very much do like this mascara, and it's a full size, not a sample, so I'm happy about that. This is again like a $30 mascara, so I'm very excited because I only have samples of it. And maybe I'll put like the samples in my giveaway and I'll keep this because I do love it and I'm almost getting ready to throw out another mascara. And I just have one thing left and it is a palette. Again, wrapped so beautifully. And it is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Now, I do already have this, and I don't know whether I'm going to give this to a friend or whether I will put it in a giveaway. This happens when you buy a mystery bag. The possibility of you getting a product that you already have is highly likely, especially when you are a makeup enthusiast like I am. But this is a $42 value, so I don't know if I got necessarily $150 worth of product. I will have to add that up because I don't know the price of several of other items. But overall, I'm not unhappy with it. I said, yes, I got repeat products. It's going to happen. Uh, maybe, as I said, I know someone will enjoy this, whomever the person is, whether it is a giveaway item or not. The Wayne Goss brush, I know, where did you go, Wayne Goss brush? Here you are. I'm thinking has to be at least $20 to $30 or more. I will have to check on that. I'm happy about the mascara, the eye serum, and this I may or may not keep, but... Overall, I'm happy with the experience. I think it was pretty cool to get one and open one. Will I do it next year? Absolutely. I might go for the um, XL one. I'm not sure. But I think this was a lot of fun. Have you guys heard of this? Do you get it? Did you get yours? And what did you get if you did? Other than that, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do hope you enjoyed this. I hope whatever part of the planet you are in, on, and around, you are having an amazing day, an amazing week. And, yeah, I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Much love, everybody. Bye.